Good morning. We're here at the Green Mountain Trailhead on the west side of Rocky Mountain National Park. And today we're going to go for Granite Falls. Should be a real beautiful hike. We get to go through the big meadows on the way. And we're looking at about 5.3 miles out with a thousand foot elevation gain. All right, it looks like 1.8 miles up to the Big Meadows. We only have to go up 1,000 feet in vertical elevation gain over this entire 5.3 miles. However, just by looking at the top, uh, it appears that most of that uphill is right here at the beginning. We're about a half mile into the hike, and we've been hiking for about 15 minutes or so. And this first part is kind of steep. And it looks like we have a couple hundred more feet we need to go up in elevation before we kind of top out. That first half mile is kind of steep, but then it really flattens out up here. This is super nice. And this trail is fantastic too. It's like I cursed the video again. As soon as I said it flattened out and stopped recording, we started going uphill again. And it looks like we have flattened out again. Here at about 9,200 plus feet. And in less than 45 minutes, we're up here to the Big Meadows Trail Split. It looks like another 3.6 over to Granite Falls. And just out there are the big meadows. We're not going to go down to the hitch rack. And instead, keep it to the left. And we're basically going to hike around the perimeter of the big meadows. And it should be really flat all through that area too. Alright guys, and these are the big meadows. This is really beautiful. And I think in the background there off to the left is Mount Ida. Oh, ha, ha, ha to you too. Looks like we've got the remains of an old cabin. Just a few more yards down the trail, it looks like we got the neighbor. We're just over an hour into the hike, roughly two and a half miles, and we're up here to a trail split. You can take the left and kind of make a big loop out of it, and it'll drop back down onto the Green Mountain Trailhead. However, we're not going to do that. We're going to continue on and head straight on up to Granite Falls. One negative thing about this trail is that there is a lot of horse poop on it. I'm thinking we have just a little over two miles left up to Granite Falls, but for right now we're gonna stop and take a quick five ten minute break. This is a fantastic little break spot. Really beautiful. And we have these nice soothing sounds of the creek. back on the trail. I'm thinking we don't have more than a couple miles up to Granite Falls. And these are pretty fast miles too.
This trail is spectacular. Incredibly beautiful back here. And the best part is, we haven't seen anybody yet. Not a single person. Right, we just hit this burned area. And pretty soon, all of Colorado is going to look like this. This burned area is sitting at about 9,550. Looks like we're just about ready to come around this final bend. And then we'll have about a mile straight away up to the falls. And we've only got another 200 foot elevation gain or so. Not bad. And this rock directly in front of us is crazy looking. Looks like we just broke the 9,700 foot threshold. Granite Falls is at about 9,800. And just guessing, but I think we have just under a half a mile up to Granite Falls. This final section is a little steep. However, it's not bad. And the rest of the hike is so flat that, you know, you're not really tired when you get to this. So. It's pretty easy. All right, guys. And in under two hours and 40 minutes, we made it up here to Granite Falls. Wow, that's a really nice hike. I'm not gonna lie. That's an awesome waterfall. I love how it cuts through the rocks. That's spectacular. Standing here at the top of the falls, absolutely beautiful. Well, we've been sitting up here at Granite Falls for close to an hour. However, it's 10 o'clock and it's time to go. It's time to head on back. I'm just gonna say right now, that's one of my favorite waterfalls ever. That was really spectacular. Totally worth the hike. I think the 5.3 miles is gonna scare some people off. But it's a really easy 5.3. Honestly, the, the hardest part is that first 1.8 up to Big Meadows. After that, it's a cakewalk. When I say that that's an easy 5.3 miles, 
I mean, it's really easy. It only took us two hours and 40 minutes to get up there. And that was with a really nice long break stuck in the middle. I mean, we sat at that little creek for at least 15 minutes. So we could have done that in, in two and a half hours if we were trying. Stop for a quick raspberry break, and these things are so good. Mmm, I just ate them all. We literally just hit the jackpot. These things are everywhere right here. Everywhere. Can you guys see all the raspberries? Can you see all the raspberries? They're everywhere. I'm not kidding right now, guys. I just went full ham on some raspberries. I probably ate a hundred of them. And we made it back down to the big meadows. It's just before 11.30. We're back up here to the big meadow split. We're gonna hang it to the right for another 1.8 miles back to the trailhead. It's 12.05 and we're back down to the Green Mountain Trailhead. We made really good time coming down. That's only two hours and five minutes to come down 5.3 miles. And we actually stopped for a good 10 minutes to eat raspberries. Yeah, so you take that raspberry break out of there and we were under two hours. Yeah, it looks like we got a moose on the trail. Mama moose. She's actually right by the trailhead. We got back in the nick of time. Like I said, it's just past 12 o'clock and we just heard a big old crack of thunder. I think it's just a matter of time before they get dumped on right here. But we don't care because we're done. High five. Nice job. Boom. Got it. Nice, beautiful hike. Yeah, it was. Hope you enjoyed that hike. And until the next one, y'all, peace.